welcome to my youtube channel please if you have not subscribed please subscribe as you do so may god bless you in jesus name inshallah amen and for those of you that are subscribed i pray may god grant to your heart desire this year in the mighty name of jesus amen judy austin's second child she had for you ledoshi has gone missing judy austin daughter is missing they woke up this morning the daughter was nowhere to be found <laughs> wahala there my people According to the information that got to us, they said Jule Doshe woke up this morning, went to the kids' room, usually as he always do. On getting there, he saw Ole Stadike without their daughter, which they named Ada Kambili. <laughs> my people, for those of you that don't know, that have not been following my channel, you will know that I've made a video when I let you know people know that I, Judy also insisted on calling her daughter Ada Kambili. <laughs> So, my people, as I'm talking to you, they confirmed it to us that that is the name Judy Austin is still calling that girl. Even after warnings from the Edoche family, not a lot of people have warned Judy Austin to stop calling that child, especially Kambili. Judy Edoche still refuses, still calling that child at that Kambili. So, this morning, according to the information, they said after you let she went to the kids' room, he, she, he couldn't find a, their second daughter because me, I can't call that child at that can be very sorry to say. So, they couldn't find the second child uh, uh, that Judy Austin had for you let she. So, you let she ran to Judy Austin to tell Judy Austin what was happening. On getting there, he saw that Judy Austin was sitting on the ground with her hand on her cheeks. Like somebody thinking, like somebody that so you like she thought that maybe Judy Austin has already found out what was happening. So you like she wanted to raise alarm, an alarm to call the neighbors so that they will know what was happening in their apartment. So on doing that, Judy Austin shut him down quickly and said, Shut up your mouth. Which neighbors are you calling? Evil neighbors that came that almost came to buy our child yesterday. Hey, hey, my people, it is not a small matter. You let Doshe has you, Judy Austin again. I don't understand you. Come again. I don't understand what you're saying. Judy Austin said, because you are a mumu man, man that don't have sense. That's why when things are happening in the house, you don't know. According to Judy Austin, explain to, explain to you let Doshe that in the night when that child was sleeping, the neighbors, they came to attack a child. That the child then... <laughs> Thank God that she was able to take that child away from that house in the middle of the night to her mother. If not, this morning is either that child for why Yule Doshi was surprised. Why as her? What would have happened? He said they came to attack her, the witches and the wizard in the compound. Like they were fighting with her daughter. Her daughter was fighting for her life. She had to quickly call her mother, and her mother said, Take the child out of the uh, take the child out of that place immediately because the evil eyes on are on her child and they are fighting against her she said that was the reason she took her child away immediately that night to her mother hey, this is the story that judy austin told um yule doshi like always telling yule doshi things against the truth so my people the information that came to us confirmed to us that that baby judy austin really took that baby out of the house that night but the real reason judy austin took away that baby is because the neighbors they are tired of that baby according to the neighbors they said ever since judy austin brought that baby into their estates <laughs> they say every night now so so one animal they cry this thing cry like an animal some people say it's a bush baby some people say it's a cat some people say it's a dog but when you hear the cry of this strange thing it's not a dog it's not a cat it's not a bush baby it's not like it's not an animal that they they are familiar to they don't just know who and what animal that is crying if it's human being, if it's devil, if it's witch, they say they, just, they don't just know. But that crying, that that thing used to cry every night, is not a cat, it's not a dog, neither is it a bush baby. Hmm. So, my people, after the neighbors don't complain for this cry, and they say anytime that baby cry, and anytime this uh, strange thing cry, because they don't know if it's an animal, if it's a human being, they don't know. They say anytime this strange, of, uh, strange creature cry, Something bad must happen in their neighborhood. And this creature, every night, night they cry. Every night, night they bring bad luck. They can't give them. You see somebody that is going to work, that is okay. They will tell you that they have rushed him to the hospital. There is nothing good coming to them ever since this creature started crying. And according to the neighbors, they find out that it was from Judy Austin 
apartment that this thing they come at how did they find out after a pastor that is in the neighborhood said since this thing always come out by two this pastor stood his ground and came out by two o'clock started sending fire and brimstone upon this creation now so the wife they join her they come they send fire they say it was then this this strange creation was what was coming towards them According to them, they said this creation you cannot see, it's like a shadow. It was coming towards them, they started fire, fire. The wife joined the husband, fire, fire, fire. That was how the creation turned back and went back into Judy Austin apartment. My people, Nano say they say where everybody gather, you must always have a Judas. So one of the Judas don't go give Judy Austin the information. Say, so see waiting they conclude for our compound. See waiting they talk. <laughs> Before that night again, when this pastor come come out again. To thunder the fire some neighbors agree to join with this pastor let them fire because they don't tire let them fire so that night was the night that judy austin's second baby second child she had for you like she was having this attack the attack was the prayer the prayer and fire they were sending to judy austin apartment that is what was affecting judy austin's second child and judy austin has to quickly run with the child to the mother Hey, my people, according to the information they have got to also, they say after that hot fire and prayer that night, Judy Austin herself could not stand it. She had to carry a child and run to her mother to drop that child with her mother. After she dropped the child, she came back. That was how you let those. She woke up in the morning looking for a child. Where Judy Austin don't carry? Go give him mama. So, my people, it was the fire that the neighbors were firing that made Judy Austin to carry this her daughter back to the village. And Judy Austin had found out that the neighbors, they've already know the secret of this child. You guys remember that the marine world, they warned Judy Austin that this child should be kept on that secret. The powers of this child shouldn't be known by anybody. Hmm. The, the mission that this child came to do in the world will be tarnished if they got to know who this child really is. But my people... The child never even grow. He never even chop. He never even eats okra. He never even eats pepper. He does not operate like this. What about if this child grows up? According to what they said, they said it was ever since this child entered their, their neighborhood, their estate or what. It was when that this, it was then that this strange voice started crying. And each time this strange voice cried, one bad calamity must happen. So, if you dare in such a neighborhood, what will you do? So, Judy Austin find out that these people are finally know the secret. Know the lot about too much things are coming out. Judy Austin quickly that night carried that child away. Judy Austin, what she forgot was that when she was carrying that child away from that place, the neighbors, they saw her in the middle of the night and they knew that this is the reason the fire that they are, they are, they are praying that is making Judy Austin to take that strange child away. Because the nobles confounded that. That's why I put this Star DK picture. You see the way they are showing Star DK, showing Star DK up and down everywhere. This is their second daughter. They have not even shown you the, the face. Though a lot of people say they are hiding it because of this, because of that. My people, when you make the no hide Star DK, you're not going to make the hide the second one. This second one is being protected because of the strange powers and strange things this child have. Now, they say Judy Austin have taken the child to her mother for protection because the neighbors are ready to render fire in the whole of the, that estate because they say they can't take it anymore a lot of them or oh, imagine a lot of them gather together against judy austin and her daughter so right now when judy austin sees a ah, secret want to be exposed a lot of things have to be exposed because definitely since the neighbors have find out everything know that this strange creation is from judy austin apartment and they have been suspecting judy austin daughter because they said it was when that little girl entered into their estate that this strange thing started happening evil news bad news every day you must hear something bad news from their from their estate so since they have already discovered where the problem was coming from, they were trying on how to confront Judy Austin and Yule Edoshi. Before Judy Austin quickly that night carried the child, you know who she is now. Maybe they've won her, maybe they told her something. She quickly carried the child in the middle of the night. If now child will be say a hand clean, hand pure, why won't you wait? Maybe they even break safe. Why will somebody even be fiery thunder and uh, this thing to you when your hands are clean? 
So my people, that was how Judy Austin quickly run and carry this child to the mother because he you know say for the mother hand the child they save. So my people, hey, without Judy Austin knowing that even all the neighbors they don't already know our secrets, they don't know who that child be. And Judy Austin need to protect that child, need to protect the child image. According to what they said, they said the child had a mission on the world. So my people, this wicked serpent where Judy Austin come born. So when even wicked pass Judy Austin, because if she can operate at that early stage of her life, just imagine if this one reached two years, people go year round. So be always prayerful. If you believe in your gods, pray to your God. God. If you believe in Allah, pray to Allah. If you believe in your diabolical tradition, universe, culture, wherever you believe, just continue praying because in this life we are living, strange things happen. Strange things happen. Judy Austin, what she did not know that some people saw her when she was rushing that child out of the compound. After many neighbors have gathered together to pray fire that night, Judy Austin carried picking come off for, <laughs> for his house. So the handwriting on the wall is very clear. The neighbors now know where the problem is coming from, though they suspected it. But they had no evidence. But with what they saw yesterday night, they said they can believe it now that Judy Austin daughter was the one disturbing them in their neighborhood so my people you can leave your phone comments in the comment section or because judy austin don't carry the daughter now they say don't carry her go give you mama just to avoid more exposure on this child may people not going to expose and finish may the child not going to do the worst because definitely after they send out that fire maybe the child will do the worst so judy austin quickly package this picking go give you mama make she herself for even still rest so my people, if you know you've not live, if you know you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And see this one, God bless you in Jesus' name, inshallah, amen. To my subscribers, may the light of God continue to shine upon you, your family, your children, your generations in the name of Jesus, amen. Thank you guys for always watching my video. Please leave a comment in the comment section. And see this one, God bless you in Jesus' name, bye. -bye.